Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about division strategies. Here are the five ways you can divide using a multiplication chart, making equal groups, making arrays, repeated subtraction, and finally, related facts. So let's get started. Division. The basic idea of division is separating the amounts into equal groups. Let's look at a division number sentence. We have a dividend. We have the divide symbol. We have divisor, the equal sign, and quotient. Dividend is the number that will be divided. Divisor is the number that does the dividing. And finally, the quotient. Quotient is the answer to the division problem. To do, let's go ahead and divide 25 divided by 5. Step 1. Identify the divisor. In this example, the divisor is 5. So you could go ahead and use your finger and locate the number 5. Step 2 is to locate the number or the dividend. In this example, the number is 25. So you will go ahead and use your finger and slide until you get to 25. This is 5. You're sliding until you get to 25. Step 3. Look up to see what is the number. In this example, the answer is 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. Let's do another example. 42 divided by 7. The divisor is 7, so you will locate 7. The dividend is 42, and then you're just going to slide your finger up, and you will see that the answer, or the quotient, is 6. Here is another example, 54 divided by 9. You first locate number 9, slide your finger over to 54, and then slide all the way up until you see the number 6, and that's the answer. 54 divided by 9 equals 6. Now we will go ahead and use equal groups to help us divide. So we have the example. 12 divided by 3. As you see here, we have 12 lines. But we need to go ahead and divide them and make them into three groups. Here is an example of how you can use the get strategy to make equal groups. You have the G for groups, E for each, T for total. The 12 is the total. Divided by three groups. Three is the groups. And we need to know how much is in each group. So our answer is four. You will go ahead and make three groups, put four in each group. That makes it a total of 12. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4. Let's look at another example. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. We have 15 in total. We made 3 groups. And there are 5 in each group. Here is another example. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. There are 6 groups. 
three in each group. We get a total of eighteen. Now we are going to divide, making an array. Let's go ahead and do the example: fifteen divided by five. Fifteen is the dividend. The dividend lets you know how many in total. Number five is the divisor. The divisor lets you know how many groups. Here is how we can divide, making arrays. Fifteen divided by five equals three. The divisor number five lets you know how many groups. So you're going to go ahead and make five x's going down. The quotient, which is the answer, lets you know how many in each row. There are three going across, and we have to make sure we have a total of fifteen. Therefore, fifteen divided by five equals three. Let's look at another example. Twenty-eight divided by four equals seven. The divisor lets you know how many groups. Seven lets you know how many in each group. And remember, we need a total of twenty-eight. Eighteen divided by three equals six. You have three groups. Six in each group, which gives us a total of eighteen. Repeated subtraction. We can use repeated subtraction to solve a division problem, just as we used repeated addition to solve a multiplication problem. Eight divided by four equals two. You can subtract four two times. Eight take away four is four. Four take away four is zero. Because you subtracted it one time and two times. Here is another example: twenty divided by five equals four. You can subtract five four times. One. Two, three, four. We basically subtract it until we get a zero. Another great strategy for division is related facts. We're gonna go ahead and make a multiplication and division family house. So we have the number four. Twenty-four and six, and we're basically making four equations using the same numbers. We're going to either multiply or divide. So let's go ahead and look at the examples. Four times six equals twenty-four. Six times four equals twenty-four. Twenty-four divided by four equals six. Twenty-four divided by six. Equals four. In our next example, we have the numbers five, twenty, and four. Five times four equals twenty. Four times five equals twenty. Twenty divided by four equals five, and then twenty divided by five equals four. And our last example is three, six, and eighteen. Three times six equals eighteen. Six times three equals eighteen. Eighteen divided by three equals six. Eighteen divided by six equals three. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try these examples. Make sure to use one of the strategies to solve the equation.
Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.